Yo, what's up guys, Nash here coming at you with a brand new video and today we're talking about why your Shopify store isn't getting any sales. All right guys, so before we get started, why don't you go ahead and hit that nice looking subscribe button below and the like, let me know that you like the content that you wanna see more on a daily basis and also hit the notification bell because I'm dropping new videos every single day. They're hot, they're fire and you're gonna wanna see them as soon as they come out. So uh, yeah, go ahead and do that and let's jump in. All right guys, so before we jump into exactly why your Shopify store is not making sales, we first need to get into the psychology of a buyer. Why does somebody actually buy something? So let's jump in the computer and why do people actually buy? Well, I think there's three specific reasons um, that we can break down and actually talk about um, that you can hopefully directly apply to your store and you know start making more sales and more conversions. So number one is that um, People buy because they need something, right? They, they absolutely need it. Not that they want, but they need it. Um, you know, people do buy it based on want as well, but you know, they need something or um, they have a problem um, that needs to be addressed, okay? So what do I mean by this? Basically, people only need three things. They need food, they need shelter, and they need water. They don't need an iPhone, they don't need a Louis Vuitton bag, they don't need your Shopify store, you know, bracelet, watch, whatever it is, they don't need it. They might want it, but they don't need it. So how do we actually jump in and say, or give them the illusion that they might need this product? Well, basically you have to pose a problem. And from that problem, you have to also pose a solution. Basically you're hitting somebody's pain point and you're saying, hey, we know that, you know, this sucks. But here's our solution, it's the hero, it comes to save the day, and you know, there you're able to make a sale. So a specific example, I see a lot of these bracelets being promoted like, you know, Buddha bracelets, those lion bracelets, uh, you know, the multicolored bracelets, which I think are called chakras, um, that are, you know, I think healing bracelets or whatever. I see a lot of them promoted on fashion pages because, you know, they're cool and they're kind of a fashion statement and it's fine, you know, they make sales doing that. But what if you come at it from the pin, the uh, you know the point of view of hey we realize that you know maybe you're not feeling as useful as you did uh, you know 10 years ago maybe your chakras are out of balance your energy is out of balance maybe you're not as energetic as you used to be something like that you're hating hitting a pain point and maybe you you know market this to people that are older maybe mid 30s to like 50s to 60s um, but you're hitting a, a pain point right but. You know, if today only our product, our you know healing chakra bracelet, it you know comes in and it balances your chakras, gives you more energy, gives you you know energizes you, whatever it is, and you pose a solution for them. So they have a problem, you have the solution. If it matches, you're more likely to make a sale. So that's the first way that you can uh, you know sort of, or that's the first reason that people buy something, and hopefully you can apply that to your store directly. All right, the second reason is that um, there's some sort of outstanding deal. Um, or a once in a lifetime um, opportunity. Okay, so an example of this would be like, say, uh, you know, you're into Xboxes, you're looking to go buy an Xbox, it costs 350 bucks, 300 bucks, whatever it is, right? But you see it on sale at Costco for $100. That's like a ridiculous outstanding deal, you're saving $200. You're much more likely to go buy it because you're in the market for an Xbox anyways, or maybe you're in a market for a PlayStation, but you switch over and buy an Xbox because it's an outstanding deal. Also, it could be a once in a lifetime opportunity and how you set that up is through what's called urgency and scarcity, okay? What this means is that the because it's only a once in a lifetime deal, maybe it only lasts for 12 hours, 24 hours, however you wanna set it up, but the deal will only last for a certain amount of time. Therefore, you have to get it now or you're not gonna be able to get it later and you know, you're gonna to have to pay full price or you know, they might be gone, whatever, however you wanna do it. And then scarcity is the fact that maybe there's only like 25 that are available and once 25 are sold or 25 are gone, then you, know, you have no chance and you know, they're out of stock, they don't come back, right? So that's what urgency and scarcity is, to create a once in a lifetime opportunity that is like an outstanding, irresistible deal. Because if there's an irresistible deal, people are much, much more likely to buy the thing, even if they didn't want it in the first place. That's why those seen on TV ads, like the 1999 today only, that's why those work so well, and that's why they're still on TV, as obnoxious as they are, because people buy them. And that brings me to number three, which is, um, let's see, how do we do this? There we go, number three, which is uh, the people need to feel accepted, okay? 
And this is a deep psychological feeling that people need, right? This goes back to your elementary days, your high school days, whatever it is. Basically, you wanted to buy what all your friends were buying because it meant that you were in the cool crowd, that you were with them, that you were accepted with them, right? Specific example, Yeezys came out last year, two years ago, whatever it is, and they're outrageously priced. They're like $800, $1,000 plus, right? No shoe should cost that much. They probably, in value-wise, in terms of material, labor, all that stuff, they're probably worth no more than your $60 Nike. Like, they probably only, they probably don't even cost $60 to manufacture. But because Kanye says that they're $1,000 and he does like limited editions and all these different things, and he goes out there and you know all these people, these celebrities, um, you know, and other people are wearing them and it's like the cool thing to do. Now all these kids are going out and they're buying Yeezys, even though they're so expensive, and they're wearing them. Now your friends wearing Yeezys and you see like celebrities wearing Yeezys. Now in order to feel accepted, you have to go buy the Yeezys, and you know that's kind of how it works. So if you can feel, if you can get the person to sort of, uh, you know, think that this is a trend, this is something that you do, this is what you need to do to feel accepted, that's another reason that people buy. Now, how do you do this in the real world? Well, basically you can do this through, um, you know, social proof. If you have a bunch of testimonials where people are like, this is the greatest thing ever, um, or you have, uh, you know, lifestyle photos, videos, or whatever, where people are having tons of fun with the product or, you know, having a great time with the product, or maybe it's just like making their life so much better, and you can show that, that gives people FOMO, you know, the fear of missing out. So in order to feel accepted, they have to get the product. All right, guys, so those are the three things in my mind that are the reasons that people buy. Now, if you can go ahead and apply these directly to your Shopify store the way that I told you, or you'll start seeing way better conversions and you'll start to get into your customer's mindset and figure out why exactly that they're, you know, they're buying something and you'll start making more sales and it'll just be easier for you. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. Also hit the like button if you liked it and the notification bell because that'll keep you up to date with all the videos I'm dropping every single day. And listen guys, I'm trying to get everybody on this channel to at least $100 a day, which is totally doable. So why would you not subscribe for the free content that I'm dropping every single day? Um, yeah, and lastly, go ahead and leave me a comment. What do you wanna see in the future? And if you have any questions, drop it in the comments below or you can DM me at Nash Hagen. Um, I'll probably have my handle on the screen or in the description below that you can check out. And uh, you know, I always respond to questions and comments. So go ahead and shoot me a DM. And uh, yeah, let's get this rolling. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace. I need you in the morning, oh, oh, yeah. I need you in the midnight, oh, oh. Why'd you